Well, today on the bench, we have cordless screwdrivers. And the reason for this video is people are asking about the DeWalt as I see it on the bench and they're asking questions about it. So I figured I would talk about it, discuss some of the features of it and show it in action a little bit today and show what I've learned about buying it. Since I didn't actually purchase it as a kid or buy it new, I already have a video out on the skill and the hammerhead and a little bit of a look inside and comparison since in the videos in the last couple years or so, people have asked a lot about the little hammerhead. So I discussed a lot about it and how it got hard to find. And so I picked up the skill to show that it's kind of a replacement for it. And both are excellent, excellent screwdrivers and they, they do a fine job for me. But I want to talk about the gyroscopic technology a little bit. And the first thing I want to show is the inside of this failed Black & Decker. My first uh, gyro screwdriver that now just functions as a Titan, only the way I have it configured. The motion sense did quit working on the screwdrivers some years ago. So I just want to get into this video, looking into the DeWalt screwdriver. But before we do, let's take a quick look inside of the Black & Decker gyro. So this is the inside of the Black & Decker gyro. It does use a little Atmel processor and an Invincense ISZ650 access chip here. We'll see our MOSFETs for our H bridge or our directional control there. Of course, I add mail on the back with a push button. I probably had this at least like eight years. And it had failed where it only output in one direction. When it comes on, it just turns. So I had taken this apart several different times and tried to fix it. It failed actually loosening. And I went and just changed the polarity on the motor. And I actually made it where it would just tighten only. So I just used it when I put stuff together. But it got to be a hassle because it one direction only. But that was actually my first experience with the um, the gyro control screwdriver. And it, it actually did work pretty good, but nothing compared to the DeWalt. I put off getting these for a while because of my experience with this one. This DeWalt, which is the uh, DCF682, is 0 to 430 RPM with the 8 volt lithium battery. It works extremely well. Very smooth control, and it's very quick and responsive. If I, if I grab it, as soon as I grab it and turn it, it moves. There's no delay to it, and it zeroes out very well, no matter how you grab it. It zeroes out extremely well. So I really like the DeWalt a lot. And this one is usually the cheaper of the two models that DeWalt makes. The DCF680, which we see here, is usually at least $10, 10 to $15 more. Here I'll try to have an Amazon comparison uh, right now at the time of this video. And the reason I do like the ones that cost a little bit more, it does, um, as you can see, it articulates so it can change to your 90 degree or straight. And it also has the um, the torque settings on the front where this one doesn't. But for around my bench, I really, really like this screwdriver and I'm, I'm tickled to death at what I have bought it for. So I don't have that much in the screwdriver. The one at work, the company paid for it, but it's really, really a nice screwdriver. And the clutch settings, of course, is very handy and as far as being able to get in the tight spot. But other than that, it's identical. I mean, they both work with the same gyroscopic technologies. A while back, I did a video comparing this with the hammerhead because I had both and like both. And for the money, you really can't beat these little screwdrivers I mentioned and went over and even had a look inside comparison. We also learned that even though these are only 4 volt, and they definitely don't have a clutch setting or anything, but still just handy, even though it's RPM wide, it's not near the speed. I think these are only like 230 or something similar. But still a really nice screwdriver. And the only reason I decided to get one of these when I already had this one for a good price was I bought this one at a flea market for, I talked them from 29 down to, I'm pretty sure I just gave them a $20 bill. 
and I walked away with this one less the battery. So it was brand new. You could tell they had got it and it, it was just missing the battery and the charger. And I did some research before I started filming this part of the video and what I was about to say was going to be wrong now. Hopefully I can find it and put it up here on the screen. I actually bought this battery for around 15 to 17 dollars and this is just an 8 volt replacement for it made by Korea Best. And I just charge this up with my variable supply current limited and just go across my plus and minus. As you can see in here, just in case you're interested, the way this goes in, your plus is the bottom and your minus goes to the top. So there's your negative and there's your positive. It doesn't say it anywhere in there that I can see, but the trigger side is gonna be your positive. If you like me and buy it and wanna test it, <laughs> I had to figure that out. And since I had one at, at work, it was easy to, to look at that one and tell. So the next day I got home, I was able to just hook mine up to the eight volts and just test it out. And it as thought it was a, it was like new. But what I was getting at is I got this battery for like 15 to 17 bucks and I only paid 20 bucks for this. So I actually got this for about the same price as this screwdriver and that is a no brainer. By the time of this video, I looked up to, to try to share a link about these batteries and maybe compare it with the DeWalt battery itself. And at the moment, I don't know exactly what's going on with that. Um, the same thing that I got for $15 to $17, they're wanting to sell for $117 on eBay, and I have not figured that out. So I don't know if that's going to continue or it's some kind of mistake. But I cannot find the link to add to this video at this time. Uh, hopefully by the end of the video on my editing, hopefully I'll have something in there. But um, but please check out the description below and see if it worked out. But I will say it, at this point in time, it's going to be a lot better to go and buy these as a kit. For some weird reason, I can get either one of the kits I mentioned with a battery, charger, the tool, and even a tool bag for $75 to $90. So I don't know why anybody would pay $117 bucks for knockoff battery alone. But anyway, it is what it is. But before I finish up the video, I'm going to show a little bit of video of me disassembling a few things. Uh, just how handy and how quick, how quick this DeWalt screwdriver makes it. And the next thing I want to do is take my T10 bit. Let's have a look inside. The interesting thing about this skill screwdriver and the hammerhead video that I did I discussed how the hammerhead had went crazy expensive compared to when I posted my video. Get a bigger screwdriver here. Yeah, when I first posted my video about the hammerhead and everybody was asking about that little hammerhead screwdriver, I was getting them for like 20 bucks a piece and um they got hard to get and the price went astronomical. Even some links I had added below my video description, those links, instead of being 25 to $30, some of them were going for over a hundred bucks. It didn't make sense. So I just shared that the skill was the new model. But yeah, the company Shervon actually makes Ego and they bought out skill. And they had also bought out the hammerhead. Look at those little MOSFETs. At least that's assume that's what those are. A tremendous amount of small components, that is for sure, but very impressive.
and they're doing all this with just a regular DC brush motor, which is very impressive. I really thought this one may have been a brushless motor just with the torque it had and the speed it had. But nevertheless, they're doing a servo action here with the brush DC, which I guess it shouldn't have surprised me that much to keep the price point down. Pretty neat. Sorry, that conformal coating just makes it kind of hard to see. Let's see the chip numbers. Check out those surface mount fuses there. But I hope you like this look inside of this DeWalt gyroscopic screwdriver today. It really is a handy screwdriver to have on the bench. It really is so much better than I anticipated after having, um, you know, a 10 year old model. So this gyroscopic screwdriver works extremely well. And if you like this video today, please like, share, subscribe, and thanks for watching.